Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we've done a pick a card with the Ancestor Spirit Oracle. Go ahead and focus on the three ahead. Pick as many as you feel intuitively guided to choose. And we'll timestamp down below. I'll go ahead and hit the ball. All right, if you've chosen card A, you have explore your creative side. Visualize, paint, record. Our Ignacian peoples lived in the forests of southwestern France 38,000 years ago. These people were hunters and gatherers who lived and came together in large rock shelters during the winter months. The caves provided warmth and shelter from the bitter cold, as well as a surface for some of the world's first cave art. Mammoths, horses, alpine goats and deer, geometric designs, dots and people appear in these ancient works of art. The artists also engraved bones and stone and crafted beautiful ornaments. The Aurignacian artists were skilled and made use of crevices or raised surfaces to paint animals with perspective. There is evidence that Aragnesians had full-time artists and that some art was based on shamanic experience. Get your artistic energy flowing. Try to make time for yourself to paint, write, sing, play, bake, or build every day. Even if you can only find a few minutes at a time, Regularly engaging your imagination will make a noticeable difference to your energy. You do not have to be an artist, musician, or chef. When you start thinking more creatively, you invite inspiration and ingenuity to all that you do. When you unlock your imagination, you are opening yourself to the healing energy from the universe. Creativity is connected to your passion, your solar plexus, and sacral chakra. It is also linked to life force and positive energy. When you are not using your creativity, you can start to feel restless, frustrated, or numb. Re-energize by painting, planting, sewing, singing, playing, or thinking outside the box. This card also encourages you to look for a unique solution to a problem. At 251, if you've chosen card B, you have focus on children, pregnancy, birth, adoption. A blend of cultures, religions, and histories have merged to make Jamaica a country known for its magic, spirituality, and music. The distinct spirituality that emerged in Jamaica was in response to the harsh reality of slavery and displacement. Religion in Jamaica can combine African and Christian elements, have no separation between the divine and the earthly, and speak out against oppression. Above all, the importance of family shines through. Children are often cared for by the extended family, and there are many traditions around pregnancy and birth. Spiritual traditions have evolved to help the people of Jamaica reclaim their ancestral connections while growing a proud and unified cultural identity. Babies, pregnancy, and children are being highlighted for you when this card appears. You may have been considering conceiving, conceiving, fostering, or adopting a child. This card is giving you a heads up to let you know that there is a child who wants to come to you and your family. This child does not have to be your biological child. It could be a niece, nephew, adopted child, stepchild, or foster child. It could also be a fur child. <laughs> if you already have children or grandchildren, this card is a reminder for you to connect with them and spend more time with your family. Children are a blessing. They really do heal people and bring family members together in a positive way. Look at the children in your life and be thankful for the amazing gift they are to you. If you have children who have passed away, this card confirms that they are safe happy, and still around you. They love you very much. You could also use this as a, a sign or a synchronicity, children. 
something having to do with children today. Okay? All right. All right, at 508, if you've chosen card C, you have laugh and have fun, smile, positive energy, joyfulness. Due to its remote location in the eastern Himalayas, Bhutan has been largely self-reliant and protected from invasion. Bhutan is a name used by outsiders. The inhabitants call their homeland Druk Yul, meaning land of the thunder dragon. Despite its isolation, Buddhism arrived in Bhutan as early as the 7th century and was a well-founded part of the culture from the 8th century. In 1972, the fourth king of Bhutan, King Jigme, infamously stated that gross national happiness is more important than gross domestic product. I agree. <laughs> Once coined, Gross national happiness became a hallmark of Bhutan's infrastructure. The gross national happiness index was introduced as a yardstick for government policy and business practice. The GNHI considers psychological well-being, health, education, community vitality, living standards, and other factors, not just economic growth. This holistic approach to progress is unique inspiring and successful. Since the introduction of the GNHI, Bhutan has significantly reduced poverty and its economy has seen consistent growth. It remains one of the happiest places on earth. When was the last time you had a proper laugh? When did you laugh so hard your stomach hurt? If it was too long ago to remember, it's time to plan a joy session. <laughs> Watch some comedy, read a funny book, or connect with some positive people. You may want to try a laughing meditation. If you already have had a good belly laugh today, have another one. You can never have too much laughter in your life. Joy and laughter can help you through the hard times. Laughter is truly the best medicine. It heals you and helps you to open yourself to positive energy. When you laugh, you become magnetic, drawing like-minded, positive people to you. Also, Laughing is infectious. <laughs> By increasing your gross personal happiness index. <laughs> I love that. You help others smile and laugh as well. You can help heal people who need a boost of positive energy. Smile, laugh, and giggle today. There you go, guys. Have a great day.